Robert O'Hara Burke. Robert O'Hara Burke, May 6, 1821, circa June 28, 1861, was an Irish soldier and police officer who achieved fame as an Australian explorer. He was the leader of the ill-fated Burke and Wills expedition, which was the first expedition to cross Australia from south to north, finding a route across the continent from the settled areas of Victoria to the Gulf of Carpentaria. The expedition party was well equipped, but Burke was not experienced in bushcraft. A Royal Commission report conducted upon the failure of the expedition was a censure of Burke's judgment. Early Years Burke was born in St. Clarence, County Galway, Ireland in May 1821. He was the second of three sons of James Hardiman Burke, 1788, January 1854, an officer in the British Army's 7th Royal Fusiliers, and Anne Louisa Burke Nay O'Hara, married 1817, d. 1844. Robert O'Hara was one of seven children. James Thomas Burke was a lieutenant in the Royal Engineers, and on July 7, 1854 at the Battle of Giorgio became the first British officer killed in the Crimean War. Military career Burke entered the Royal Military Academy, Woolwich in May 1835. In December 1836 he failed his probationary exam and went to Belgium to further his education. In 1841, at the age of 20 he entered the Austrian army and in August 1842 was promoted to second lieutenant in the Prince Regent's 7th Thruis Regiment of the Hungarian Hussars. He spent most of his time in the Imperial Austrian Army posted to northern Italy and in April 1847 was promoted to first lieutenant. Towards the end of 1847 he suffered health problems and went to Ricoro Spa in northern Italy, then Grefenberg, now Lasnyesenik and finally Aachen before resigning from the Austrian army in June 1848 after charges against him relating to debts and absence without leave were dropped. Police career After returning to Ireland in 1848, he joined the Irish Constabulary, later the Royal Irish Constabulary. He did his cadet training at Phoenix Park Depot in Dublin between November 1849 and January 1850, was promoted to third-class sub-inspector and he was stationed in County Coldare. At the end of 1850, he transferred to the Mounted Police in Dublin. Migrating to Australia Burke migrated to Australia in 1853. He left Queenstown, County Cork on November 24, 1852 on the SS Rodney which was carrying 342 convicts. He arrived in Hobart, Tasmania on February 12, 1853 and promptly sailed for Melbourne. On April 1, 1853 he joined the recently established Victoria Police Force. Initially, he worked as acting inspector under the Chief Commissioner William Henry Fancourt Mitchell in the parish of Jika Jika in the northern suburbs of Melbourne, but on November 1, 1853 he was appointed a magistrate, was promoted to police inspector, and was posted to Karlsruhe. On December 31, 1853 he was promoted to District Inspector of the Ovens District and early in 1854 he moved to Beechworth to relieve Inspector John Giles Price. After the unfortunate death of his brother, James Thomas, in the Crimean War, Burke decided to enlist. He left Australia on the SS Marco Polo on March 25, 1856 for England, but, by the time he arrived in Liverpool in June, peace had been declared and the war ended. Dot Burke reboarded the Marco Polo and returned to Victoria, arriving in Melbourne on December 2, 1856. He resumed his posting at Beechworth and from there attended the Buckland Valley riots near Bright against the Chinese gold miners in 1857. In November 1858 he was transferred to Castlemaine as police superintendent on 550 pounds PA plus a groom and quarters at Broadoaks on Gingle Street. After the South Australian explorer, John McDowell Stewart had reached the centre of Australia, the South Australian Parliament offered a reward of £2,000 for the promotion of an expedition to cross the continent from the south to north, generally following Stewart's route. He also partnered with another explorer who wanted to discover things about Australia. Burke and Wills Expedition In June 1860, Burke was appointed to lead the Victorian exploring expedition with William John Wills, his third in command, as surveyor and astronomical observer. The expedition left Melbourne on Monday, August 20, 1860 with a total of 19 men, 27 camels and 23 horses. They reached Menindi on September 23, 1860 where several people resigned, including the second-in-command, George James Landells and the medical officer, Dr. Herman Beckler. Cooper Creek, 400 miles further on, was reached on November 11, 1860 by the advance group, the remainder being intended to catch up. 
After a break, Burke decided to make a dash to the Gulf of Carpentaria, leaving on December 16, 1860. William Brahe was left in charge of the remaining party. The small team of Burke, William Wills, John King and Charlie Gray reached the mangroves on the estuary of the Flinders River, near where the town of Normanton now stands, on February 9, 1861. Flooding rains and swamps meant they never saw open ocean. Already weakened by starvation and exposure, progress on the return journey was slow and hampered by the tropical monsoon downpours of the wet season. Gray died four days before they reached the rendezvous at Cooper Creek. The other three rested for a day when they buried him. They eventually reached the rendezvous point on April 21, 1861, nine hours after the rest of the party had given up waiting and left, leaving a note and some food, as they had not been relieved by the party supposed to be returning from Menindi. They attempted to reach Mount Hopeless, the furthest outpost of pastoral settlement in South Australia, which was closer than Menindi, but failed and returned to Cooper Creek. While waiting for rescue Wills died of exhaustion and starvation. Soon after, Burke also died, at a place now called Burke's Waterhole on Cooper Creek in South Australia. The exact date of Burke's death is uncertain, but has generally been accepted to be June 28, 1861. King survived with the help of Aborigines until he was rescued in September by Alfred William Howitt. Howitt buried Burke and Wills before returning to Melbourne. In 1862 Howitt returned to Cooper Creek and disinterred Burke and Wills' bodies, taking them first to Adelaide and then by steamer to Melbourne where they were laid and stayed for two weeks. On January 23, 1863 Burke and Wills received a state funeral and were buried in Melbourne General Cemetery. On that day Stewart and his companions, having successfully completed the South North Crossing, were received back at a large ceremony in Adelaide. Places named after Burke 